In previous videos, we had some situations where we needed to hide some content on the page. And we did so by going to our theme settings page for our default theme in the appearance section of the site and toggling it off there. Now, this content that appears below the title isn't quite the same as this because it's tied with a content type. Let's take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what content types are and how they work. When we go to add a piece of content, let's go ahead and click this add content link in the shortcut bar. You see three different options, article, basic page, and web form. By default, Drupal comes with article and basic page, and then the web form comes from installing the web form module. Each of these is a content type. And the reason why we have more than one content type is that sometimes we have data that doesn't fit in the same structure as other data on the site. So for example, with a basic page, we have a title and a body for the page, but we might not want to always attach an image to it. So the article content type exists, and it has a very similar structure to the basic page content type, except that it also has a field for uploading an image as well with the article. And as you expand your Drupal site, you'll add additional content types for everything that has its own structure. For example, we have some data for this site for guides and also for events or upcoming tours. And each of those is going to have its own content type because the data associated with it is going to be different than the other types of content. For example, the guide will have a name, a list of specialties, and a bio, whereas the events will have a date and a title and the type of event that it is. So both of those will become their own content types as we move through the videos.